So I do want to try to keep this as brief as possible. I feel like the shorter it is, the easier it will be to understand. If I go into every single detail, then it might get really confusing. So let's say you're ready to create your own curriculum and you are using just the regular books that you have in your home. And if you see that image, those are some of the books that I use in homeschooling and then some of the books I've read with my students in the past. But I have a couple of windows open. So I have chat GPT open and I also have the common core standards open. So if you're trying to teach to, um, to the standards, then you would just go to the common core standards. And that's if you want to. I mean, if you're living in a different state that doesn't use common core, then you want to utilize something else so you can read the standards and once you click on the standards if you look for ela or math standards you'll then scroll down and choose your specific grade level so this one is for the writing for ages i'm um, for grades six through eight and it lists every single standard that they need to meet i'm gonna copy and paste these three actually so instead of those first two i'm gonna put those into chat gpt i'm going to use the book divergent so I'm gonna ask it to create a cross curriculum for me, still using the same text. And you can use this for any text. Um, oftentimes you will purchase a book and it doesn't have these elements in it, but if you wanna use it for your homeschool, there are ways to do that. So it is now providing me with ways to use this series of Divergent in creating math, a math project, probability and statistics. And it tells you step by step what you need to do, the activities, all the stuff. And let's see, what did it have for science? The science of genetics and traits. Once you've created your lesson plans, um, you have your study guides, your vocabulary quiz, all the stuff that you want to create for your lesson, you can make it a little bit more interactive and engaging by creating worksheets and creating interactive lessons. If you want a part two on how to do that, let me know. I use Canva and Nearpod. I can give a really quick walkthrough on how to utilize both.